the first step to overcome spiritual warfare in the workplace. Pray, okay, before you go to work. Pray and anoint yourself before going to work, amen? You're going to get an anointing oil, amen? Maybe your church, maybe some of you go to a you know, church where they offer anointing oil. Uh, uh, you know, they're, they're people, their ministries, that uh, they offer anointing oil. And so get an anointing oil from somebody that you, do, that you know. Don't just go online and buy anointing oil from that you don't have a clue who pray over it. So, you know, but uh, if you know, you know, someone that, that you know, uh, uh, somebody that is anointed by God, maybe your local church, your pastor, I don't know, but, uh, or even yourself, you could anoint yourself. You could, uh, you know, uh, uh, get, you know, uh, an anoint, uh, uh, some oil. You can even get some, uh, you know, uh, extra virgin oil. You know, pray over it, you know, consecrate, pray fast over it, say, God, I want to use this anointing oil to pray for myself, to pray over my, you know, myself. And so, one, you're going to pray and anoint yourself before going to work, amen? And, uh, and, and as you're praying and, and anointing yourself, you're going to ask the Lord specifically, listen to what I'm going to say, you're going to be asking the Lord specifically for His protection while at work. Amen. And so you are praying specifically, God, protect me uh, uh, when I am, I am at work. That everything that might be going on there, all the strife, all the confusion, all the, the fight, all the strife, all, everything that, that is happening there will not affect me. Amen. So you pray for God's protection while you are at work, amen? And uh, you, use, you can use the uh, Psalms uh, 61 verse 1. Psalms 61 verse 1, the Bible says, God is our refuge. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, amen? God is our refuge and is strength, a very... Uh, a, a present help in trouble. Amen. God is present. God is there with you. And so you're going to pray, God, protect me. Be with me at, at work. That Whatever is that's going on over there, whatever oppression, whatever battle that is going on there, will not be able to touch my life, will not affect my life. I'll be able to work in peace. I will be able to work uh, 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 with the best of my ability to, uh, you know, uh, to glorify you there and give me strength, protect me when I am there at the workplace. Amen. And so that is one. Okay. Once again, pray and anoint yourself before going to work. And I would encourage you to do this every day. Do you go to work every day? Yes. So pray for your work. Pray for yourself every single day. Amen. Pray and anoint yourself, pleading the blood of Jesus, asking for his protection at work. Amen. Praise the Lord. Second, okay, second, second tip right here that I believe is going to bless you. Okay. Uh, pray, listen to this, pray for those persecuting you in the workplace. Amen. Yes, you're going to pray. You're going to pray specifically for those who are persecuting you. Okay. I get this all the time. People call me all the time. They send me email all the time. Fernando, I know that there is somebody putting witchcraft me in the workplace. There's a, a co-worker. There's a boss. There's a, a, a leader in my workplace. There's a, a person there that does not like me. He keeps speaking evil against me. He keeps stabbing in the back. I know that this person is, is, is trying to destroy my career. I know this person is trying to, uh, to have me lose my job. I know who this person is. And so you know them. What are you going to do? You're going to target that person in prayer. Every day you're going to be 
presenting that person to the Lord. Say, God, here is so-and-so. Here is this person. This person, for whatever reason, does not like me and keeps speaking evil against me. And so I present this person to you, Lord God. Would you touch this person? Would you uh, uh, break every spirit of conflict, everything that is uh, using this person to come against me, Lord God? I present this person to you and I ask you, Lord God, that you, Lord God, touch this person and change this person's heart. Amen? The Bible says, listen to what the Word of God says uh, in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 44. Matthew 5, 44, the Bible says, But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Amen? Once again, Matthew 5, verse 44. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And so you're going to lift that person to the Lord. You're going to lift that person. You're going to target that, that person in prayer every day. God, here is so-and-so. I'm lifting this person to you. Lord God, it's so hard. It, I, I feel so... Uh, uh, mad because this person keeps standing against me. This person keeps giving me a hard time. But Lord God, I'm not going to hold on forgiveness towards this person. I'm going to lift this person to you. You are the righteous judge. You know what is going on. And so here it is, Lord. Here is so and so. Well, deal with this person. Put, Lord God, a, a, a touch this person's heart. Remove everything that is trying to destroy my career, my job, because of this person. Touch this person. And so you are lifting that person to the Lord in prayer. Amen. And God can soft that person's heart. God can, uh, 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 you know, even uh, expose that person. Amen. My brother, listen to this. My, uh, uh, my brother, my younger brother, he saved and uh, and he uh, he's a firefighter, and he said, Fernando, uh, I everybody was losing their job in my workplace. Everybody was getting fired, and because we got this new boss, and uh, and he was actually firing all the Christians because in his workplace there was a lot of uh, uh, believers that worked with my brother, and the guy, I guess, I don't know if he was an atheist, I don't know what he was, but. He didn't like Christians, and so he started firing them. He started, uh, uh, you know, fi you know, uh, firing them, and 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 he came to my brother over and over again, say, "You are next. You are next." He, he kept confronting and and using, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, fear, uh, you know, against my brother, and tell my brother that he was going to be next, that he was going to be fired, and guess what? My brother kept, you know, lifting up, you know, to the Lord and praying. And guess what? That man, out of the blue, that guy just got fired. That boss that was firing all the Christians, okay, uh, uh, got fired. And they never saw that guy ever again back. And they put another guy in charge. And now, today, uh, my brother is one of the high, if not the oldest one that works in this place. And he loves his job. And he has such a favor in, in, in that place. But it was such a battle. It was such a battle. Many believers, many people that worked with my brother got fired because this guy, that he didn't like Christians. And so, you know, uh, you lift that person to the Lord that persecutes you. You pray, you specifically targeting that person. God, change this person's heart. Lord God, uh, protect me from this, uh, you know, this uh, intimidation, this retaliation, whatever it may be. Amen? And so... Uh, first one, you're going to pray and anoint yourself every day before you go to work. Second, pray for those who persecute you in the workplace. Okay? And then third, third. Now, this, the, the third one here, uh, you not, it might not apply to everyone, okay? It might not apply to everyone, but uh, if you do work, you know, sitting on a desk, if you, you know, uh, depending on the type of work that you do, you work, you know, sitting on a desk or, you, you know, in an environment that you're working every day, if you can, I would encourage you that you, uh, uh, you know, take that anointing oil, you know, not a 
you know, a, a bottle of anointing oil, but just a little bit of anointing oil and anoint that place of work. Amen. When you go to work, you anoint that place. Nobody needs to see. Nobody needs to know what is going on. You're going to, you know, anoint. Just lay your hands, even if you don't use oil, but just go around and, and placing your holy hands, placing your hand and anointing that environment to the Lord. Say, God, and you're going to make declarations. Amen. The Bible says the power of life, of life and death is in the tongue. Amen. The Bible says that God has given us authority. Amen. To trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy. And so what are you going to do? You're going to anoint your work, uh, your place of work. Amen. Just anoint and you, you can uh, make declarations. Amen. I love making declarations. Amen. And you can, uh, you know, make prophetic declarations that why you are in that place of work, why you are working in that company, why you are, you know, in that environment, that working, you know, in, in that place, you're going to be the head and not the tail. You're going to be above. You're not going to be beneath. Amen. You can also use Job chapter 22, verse 28. Job 22, verse 28, the Bible says, uh, You will also declare a thing, and it shall be established for you, so light will shine on your ways. Amen? And so make declarations, make, you know, prophetic declarations in Jesus' name. As long as I am here working for this company, as long as I am here working for in this place, I will be the head. I will not be the tail. I will be above. I will not be beneath. I will work as I'm working to the Lord, and I will be used by the Lord to glorify His name inside this place. I will be a, 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 a problem solver. I will be the best in, in, in this place. I will be, uh, uh, you know, God will be glorified through my life. And so you make declarations as you anoint that environment. You anoint your workplace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so once again, uh, uh, <clears throat> you're going to, uh, 30 is you're going to anoint your place of work. Anoint your place of work. Amen. Get some oil if you can. If you if you cannot use oil, amen. Just go around, place your hand, amen, in that in a, in that place, you know, anointing. Say, God, as long as I'm here, your name will be glorified, and no evil shall overtake me. No evil. I will release your glory in this place. People will know that you are with me. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then fourth, fourth, amen, this is something that I highly, highly encourage all of you to do, you know, at least once a week, amen, this is right here, uh, you're going to take fourth, take one day of the week to pray and fast for your workplace, you're going to take one day, one day of your week specifically to pray and fast, okay, for your workplace, okay? You're going to take one day where you're going to be presenting your workplace to the Lord. You're going to be praying, amen, for, for that place that God will, you know, bless you, that God will use, that God will open doors of favor, doors of promotion, that you'll be able to grow there, that you'll be able to, uh, you know, to be a blessing to that place, amen? Praise God. And so one day of the week, you're going to take to pray and fast for your workplace. Amen. And when you are praying fasting also, I would encourage you that you uh, 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 pray specifically asking the Lord to break every demonic assignment against your life in that workplace. Okay, if there's any witchcraft, if there's any jealousy, say, God, as you're praying fasting, you're going to pray specific, God, break, destroy every witchcraft that is affecting my life. Break and destroy every assignment of hell concerning my life in that workplace. Say, Lord Jesus, break me favor, destroy every demonic attack that is coming against me in the workplace. Amen? Uh, Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. Listen to what the Bible says. Matthew 17 verse 21. The Bible says, However, this kind 
does not go out except by praying fasting. People of God, you need to understand, okay, that uh, uh, there are certain things, there are certain demonic power, there are certain, uh, you know, stronghold and, and, and demonic oppression that does not go out just by praying. Amen. You have to combine prayer with fasting. As you're praying and fasting, amen. As you're praying fasting to the Lord and praying specifically for favor in the workplace. You pray specifically for every stronghold, every witchcraft, every oppression, everything that is hindering you to give you to, to be at your best in the workplace will be destroyed. Everything that hinders. Listen to this. Everything that hinders promotions, that hinders open doors, that hinders you to grow in a workplace, those things will be broken in Jesus' name. Can you imagine? Maybe you are... Be Listen to this. Some of you work for companies. You work for, you know, for, for places where you know, hundreds of people work with you there. Can you imagine you might be the first one? Look how amazing. This is a privilege. You might be the first first one in your workplace that takes at least one day of the week to pray and fast for that place how awesome would that be what an honor that you take one day of your week to pray and fast specifically for your workplace and then you can pray for that workplace that you know that even that environment even that place will grow that they'll be able to pay more for you amen you instead of becussing your job there's too many people who they call me all the time fernando my job is pretty messed up my job it, 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 you know there's so much evil in my job there's so much you know uh, uh, uh there's so much witchcraft there's so much uh, uh, uh jealousy and strife and, and you know and competition it, you know and the reason why a lot of times the job the workplace is so bad is because a lot of people a lot of people they cut they cuss they keep cursing their workplace all the time so stop doing that and start praying and fasting for your workplace you're gonna lift up your workplace to the lord you're gonna ask the lord for favor that god will help you to grow in a workplace that you open doors of favor door doors of promotion and provision and prosperity in the workplace amen praise god remember matthew 17 21 however this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting, amen? Prayer and fasting will break every stronghold of the devil. And when you're praying fasting, you don't need, listen, you don't need to be telling anyone that you're praying fasting. When you're praying fasting, the Lord is between you and the Lord. You don't need to be going out and shouting out to everybody, look, look I'm fasting to show how holy you are. No, no, no. You do that unto the Lord. You do that unto the Lord, amen? Praise the Lord. And uh, in the last one, people of God, in the last one, so I gave you the fourth, and once again, fourth, take one day of the week to pray and fast for your workplace. In the last one, five, okay? The last one, if you are baptized in the Holy Spirit, you're going to take, okay, uh, you're going to be speaking in tongues during your work hours, specifically, during your lunch break amen once again if you are baptized in the holy spirit you're going to be praying in tongues throughout the day okay as you're working okay you're just praying under your breath nobody needs to know that you're praying tongues you don't just go and shout out no no, no. they're gonna think you are crazy and probably they're gonna fire you don't do that. Amen. Nobody needs to know that you're praying in tongues. You know, you just pray in tongues, okay, under your breath. And as you're praying in tongues, people of God, I cannot emphasize enough the power of speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues is one of my favorite, favorite tool that I have. I'll tell you, people of God, speaking in tongues is powerful. And I would encourage you that you speak in tongues, okay, during your work hours, but specifically, specifically in your lunch break. Amen. I used to take, okay, I used to work in a, in a, in a place uh, where there was so much strife. It was such a spiritual 
battle every day. And you know what I used to do? I used to pray in tongues all the time when I was working, okay? I was a manager at a coffee shop, okay? I used to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I was a barista uh, at one point. I was a, a manager at a coffee shop, uh, a famous coffee shop. And I'll tell you, you know what I would do? I would just be speaking tongues, you know, uh, even as I was making coffee, I was serving people, you know, I was just praying in tongues. Nobody knew that I was praying in tongues, but I was praying in tongues. And what, what I was doing is I was strengthening myself in the Lord. When you pray in tongues, you strengthen yourself in the Lord. And praying in tongues is a powerful, powerful weapon against the devil. Amen. I used to go, okay, I, I, I had one hour, uh, was one hour? No, I had half an hour. I had half an hour, I think, of lunch break, okay, and there was a park nearby, and so I would go to the park, and I will be speaking in tongues. Oh, I would be speaking tongues in the park. Nobody was around me. I was in a you know place where it was quiet, and so I would be speaking in tongues, and I would be speaking in tongues, and people. God, literally, I would feel the power of the Holy Ghost empowering me to stay in that place, to stay strong in that environment, to be, to stay strong in that work, in that, in, in that workplace. Amen. Pray in tongue is power for people of God, and you should be speaking in tongue. Okay, as you, uh, you know, uh, as you work, it's very powerful. Listen to what the Word of God says in First Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. Listen to this. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. The Bible says, For anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to man, but to God. Did you know that when you're speaking in tongues, you are not speaking to people? You are not speaking to yourself. You are not speaking to man. You are speaking straight to God. When you are speaking tongue, it's your spirit is speaking straight to God. And I truly believe, listen to this, maybe you never heard of this, but I truly believe that the most purest form of prayer is praying in tongue. Because your head is not on the way, because you're not just you know saying words that you don't know that you don't mean. Literally, when you're speaking in tongues, it's your spirit crying out to God. It's your spirit is speaking mysteries to God. And I'm telling you, I cannot tell you the number of times that I got on my knees to pray, okay, my early morning prayers that I have with the Lord, and I get on my knees to pray, and I'm tired, and literally, as I start speaking in Portuguese, as I speak in English, literally, I feel my words just falling to the ground. There's no powers, like I'm just speaking words, and I say, God, this is not working. And so what I do, I begin to speak in tongues. Can you see? Can you hear the power? I start speaking in tongues, and all the suddenly I start feeling empowered. I start feeling the anointing of the Holy Ghost following, and then words come. Then when the words come, it comes in power. I feel the power. I feel that I'm touching something in the spiritual realm. But it comes out of speaking in tongues. People of God, you are to speak in tongues. You want to edify yourself. You want to empower yourself. Begin to speak in tongues. And you're going to see how awesome, how empowered you will become. Amen. Listen to, uh, 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 let me keep reading. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. For anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to man but to God. Indeed, no one understands them. They utter mysteries by the Spirit. Literally, when you're speaking in tongues, you're utterly, you're touching mystery in the spiritual realm. You're speaking mysteries. You are praying the most, the purest Prayer that you can ever pray is when you pray in tongues. 
I truly believe. Amen. In verse 4, listen to what the Bible says, verse 4. Anyone who speaks in a tongue edifies themselves. Somebody say, edify themselves. When you feel tired, when you are in a workplace and you feel that all hell breaking loose, you feel overwhelmed, you feel stressed, you feel that you know, people are speaking against you, you are afraid that you're going to lose your job, you feel that the boss doesn't like you, and so what do you do? When you start speaking in tongues, all the oppression goes away. When you start speaking in tongues, you start fortifying, you start strengthening yourself in the Holy Ghost, and guess what? People of God, you'll be able to overcome. You want to start seeing breakthroughs, things that was not happening in the workplace. It will start happening, and you're going to see your life going from glory to glory, from faith to faith. Somebody say amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me say something. When you're speaking in tongues, the Bible does say that he who is speaking in tongues, he should also pray that he will interpret. Okay, that you'll be able to interpret what he's saying. Listen, in order for you, when the Bible refers to interpreting what you're saying in tongues, he, he referring to when you're speaking in public, when you're speaking in the church setting, so that you not, so that when you're speaking in tongues, you are able to interpret what you're saying, so that the others who are hearing you will understand what you're saying. Now, you are not in a church setting, and you are not looking to edify nobody but yourself. And so don't even worry about trying to understand what you're saying. Okay? In a church setting, yes, absolutely. If you're praying for somebody, and you start bursting into tongues, it does not make sense to the person listening to you, because they say, I have no clue what you're saying. But you are not the purpose that of you is speaking in tongues is not to edify others. You want to edify yourself. And so you don't need to know what you're speaking. You're just speaking in tongues. You keep speaking in tongues and guess what? And all of a sudden you start getting I this happens to me all the time. I begin to speak in tongues. Okay, sometimes up to an hour I speak in tongue. Sometimes even more. I speak in tongue. Then all of a sudden I start getting the words in English that I need to pray. And so, people of God, keep speaking in tongue. Keep edifying yourself. You are not trying to edify nobody but yourself. You're the one that's in need of help. You're the one that needs the power of the Holy Ghost. You're the one that needs strength to overcome the, the, you know, the day of trouble. Amen? And so, you keep Speaking in tongues, keep strengthening yourself in the Holy Ghost, and you're going to see how awesome, how powerful will be. You're going to see breakthroughs. You're going to start seeing breakthroughs, and, and, and it's going to be awesome what God is going to do in your life. Amen?